Welcome to Bad Food Vlog, and no, I'm not making pancakes. Do you want to know what I'm making? I'm making toad in the hole with pancake mix. But I'm not going to tell anybody it's pancake mix. No, no, no. I'm just going to tell them it's regular Yorkshire pudding batter. Here are the sausages they're doing in the frying pan. You have to cook them before you make toad in the hole. Only four, because there's only three of us. One and a half here. They're also enormous sausages. They're butcher sausages from our local butcher shop. Look how absolutely humongous they are. But yeah, I'm giving them a quick cook through so when they go in the oven, they don't shrink too much and uh, they have some nice tasty sort of uh, flavors on them from being fried. Sorry about that. I have to watch out for the cat as well who is running around my feet all the time. So let's start off by measuring this stuff out. Now, hmm. I think the pancake for the toad in the hole is going to have to go for a slightly larger portion than I normally do. Now, here we are. Hmm. Let's go back a bit. Let's go a bit higher so you guys can see everything. That's better. It's all about presentation in this game, isn't it? Sausages are squirreling away there. Right, now let's follow the pancake instructions, shall we? So, 260 grams. Ooh, 230, we're getting there. This is gonna be yummy. 150. You can understand why this, ooh, look, two grams too much. Let's put a little bit back, a little bit more. There we go, perfect, right. Now, something that I'm not going to be adding is the sugar. And I normally add sugar to this because it doesn't come with very much sugar in it. But that actually makes it perfect for what we're doing. What I am going to add is some salt. The special pink Himalayan salt. I haven't actually uh, found enlightenment or any health benefits from it being pink, by the way. And some pepper. As these are ingredients I put in my normal batter for a Yorkshire pudding. Just add a bit of flavour and colour to it. Make it a tiny bit more interesting. And, oh. Ah, I need to check the water. 350 milliliters. Let's get that sorted and then start whisking it up. Hey kitty, you're in the way again. There we go. Get the whisk. It smells absolutely perfect. The, you see, the reality is that a pancake, a Yorkshire pudding, and a waffle are really very, very similar in construction. And it's really about what you do with them once you've cooked them, which really defines what you're going to end up with. The treatment along the way, as it were. So this is replacing the potatoes and the storage and the other things you're going to be putting in your thing. Oh, nice. Right, I have to put the pancake mix away because everybody will be home soon and I don't want them to see how I made this. Sneaky, sneaky. everywhere. Cat is just watching me with absolute horror. Let's bring the cat up to the... Uh, I'll have to wash my hands after handling her. But you guys hardly ever get to see her. There she is. Say hello. Yep, there we go. I don't want to be handled. <sighs> Sorry if it's a bit fastidious washing my hands after every time you handle the cat. 
but if I left her where she was, she was sat right in the middle of the floor, and I kept having to scoot around her, I was going to end up stepping on her. All right. There we go. That's ready. Let's give the sausages a quick turn. And whilst the sausages are taking a bit of turn, I'm going to take this time to turn the oven on to 160 degrees centigrade. I don't do toad in the hole much hotter than that because it doesn't go as well. Let's bring this back down a bit, move it in a bit. There we go. Slightly less of me running around. But it really has thickened up really well. Proper toad in the whole container. The sausages are mostly... Wow. I opened that up and it hissed a lot so the cat ran away like lightning. It's okay, kitty, it's not about you. Oh, there we go. The sausages are... They're getting there. They're not cooked yet. They're starting, to, they're starting to leak oil and a lot of that flavor is starting to come out. But with the idea isn't to cook them all the way through. This is going to take 40 odd minutes in the oven. The idea is to get them some interesting flavors. So we are ready. Turn everything off and not set anything on fire. Right, now question is, how do I want to organize these? See, the traditional way is to make a nice pattern like this. Makes it very easy to cut. There we go, evenly spaced the sausages for even cooking. I think that looks pretty perfect to me. And even though, it doesn't matter what I do, even if I cover the sausages, they will become uncovered in the oven because somehow the fat coming out of them will push off all of this liquid before it has a chance to set. If you've ever made toad in the hole, this is like a universal, um, of sort of like constant of toad in the hole. And there we go. There. Mmm, looks yummy. We'll wait till it goes in the oven. The oven's heated up. It's going in for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are, toting all with pancake mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might be the laziest human on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should see how I edit these videos if you want to know how lazy I am. I moved the entire process over to the iPhone. It's in the oven. Let's get back. It doesn't mean I don't take time and care and yeah, it's a hobby, let's face it. Hey, look, if this turns into a real job, I will edit much better, I promise. There'll be like explosions and special effects and titles and, you know, stuff. It's rising. Sorry, I didn't want to use any copyright music, so I just thought I'd hum and sing over this stupid pie rise. It looks like after 27 minutes, it's actually ready. So I'm going to take it out and leave it to rest. Let's have a look at what it looks like. It looks amazing. It does smell a bit sweet. Mm. See if the family likes it and can work out what I did. So here's what it looks like. Um, I've got to wait for everyone to get back. It needs to sit and rest for a little while. So uh, let's hope they're back soon. Then I can try it once it's cooled down a bit. Okay, toad in the hole's ready. Let's serve it up for everybody. You everybody hungry? Yeah.
Still pretty warm. It did come out of the oven a while ago. Get a knife and something to get it out of here with. So let's do yours first, Max. I should really grease this pan better before I cook this. Yeah. Oh, it came out all in one go. There you go. Mm, that looks good. I'm gonna run away with ketchup. Okay. I'm gonna get the rest of this out. I should be able to take it out in three more parts. Me and mummy will have one and a half sausages each. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. These sausages are really nice. They're those okay. huge butcher ones. Okay, I'm gonna go off and eat. Okay. And this little sausage at the end, we'll cut that one in half. That's the one for the assistant, the nicely presented one. And I will try the other one. You need knife and fork, Max. I have the knife and fork. Oh, you have one already? Yes, yeah, so. Okay. I'll put that one over there, you can come collect that. I come get your food before Luna has it. She she even came and sat me and watched me eat it. Um, watched me make it. So the kitty's after the. Uh... So let's try it and see what it tastes like. Mmm, sausage is perfectly cooked through. Let me show that. Absolutely amazing. Looks cool, and the other stuff looks good too. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, perfect. Mmm. What? It worked. Mmm. It tastes like a really good Yorkshire pudding. Quite bready. The fat has come out of the sausages in the way you expect, flavouring the uh, batter. The batter is like a good toad in the hole, quite easy to break up, really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Really cool. Thumbs up from me. Mmm. And go off and eat this. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And if you like what I do here, please subscribe. Bye bye for now.